but I'm eyeballing that French toast with the cream cheese blended into the French toast. Right, guys looks like there's a new restaurant out here in Connecticut it's called five and dime it's located literally next door to gold burgers in Newington Connecticut let's go inside and let's see what these guys serve up my people over at five and dime they came out with their own cereal now they asked for me to hook this cereal up with a name, okay? I mean, I'm smelling a lot of cinnamon coming up off this thing. Actual pieces of cinnamon in there, hold on, what do you got? Mm. Sweetness, like they hit it with a, with a honey and a maple. Give me a second, I gotta put some milk on this thing. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go, oof. Okay. Mmm, mm-hmm. It's like Cinnabon toasted up, a handful of honey roasted peanuts, crunchy, even in milk, is crazy homemade cereal at Five and Dime in Newington, Connecticut. Five and Dime, your cereal name, Cinemaxed. You're getting that cinnamon, that sweetness, maxed out with all type of crazy flavors, Cinemaxed. Now I'm looking around, and this spot looks quaint, homey. A nice respectable location and you see everything being prepared for you because it's just a long bar they're not a bar necessarily to get your drink on just a bar to post up with friends and family sit down have great conversation and even if you come along you can have great conversation with the person sitting next to you but you know me i'm here for the food let's see what the food game is all about of course the first thing i had to tack were the potatoes like I always want to save the best for last. So I always want to go in for the ease of the bite. And I'm saying to myself, if the potato was flavored the right way, if it's been seasoned up, seared up on that grill just right, you're going to get a light crunch on the exterior skin, but you're still going to get like semi, semi softness of the potato. It's not supposed to be extremely soft and bit up on a grill. You just want it salted. The hash browns are also crispy. You know, you got hash browns, you got regular potato hash browns that just been dumbed down. More on the flattened side of life, but a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some onion up in there, nice little crunch and munch for lunch. We'll hold you over. If you don't want potatoes, just go with the straight hash brown. It's a lighter potato flex, but I swear it's a flex that you need for breakfast at any given establishment, and Five and Dime got you well connected. They see them spatulas going to town. They see the man with the plan himself hooking up the food direct. This is farm fresh, baby. Yep. This ain't no frozen action. Yeah. Ooh, with the tops on. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Ooh. Ooh. So we've been open since like November 15th here. Yeah, yeah, we're right. all about like just kitschy food, like different food, anything that like you can't make yourself at home, man. And we got like the freshest ingredients, like local ingredients. You know how it goes, man. Now a lot of individuals need to come to Five and Dime versus going to any other local mom and pop shop for breakfast or lunch. Why, why they need to come here, bro? What, what makes this spot unique? We got great staff, man. Everybody's here to serve you, to do what you need to do, man. We're all about the customers here. Fresh we like food, that. fresh ingredients, all day, every day. Now, do you guys ever go off menu? Like, say a customer comes in with a wild idea and y'all got the ingredients to make it happen. Would you make it happen? For of the course, customer? man. We support wild ideas. Whatever anybody has, you can dream it. We can make it, man. All day. It doesn't matter what it is. I like that. You can yeah. dream it. We can make That's it. I right. like that. That's right. But I'm eyeballing that French toast with the cream cheese blended into the French toast. You heard me correct. French toast with cream cheese. My gosh. OMG, OMG, OPP, are you down with me? Look, this is a soft bite, a sweet, savory, soft bite, French toast, little bricks, little bricks of French toast, cream cheese coming through, it's already soft. You're getting that smooth sweetness, that creamy sweetness on the inside, the softness, you're getting that cinnamon flow. This combination did not know, did not know by marrying the two. Regular cinnamon, some sugar, right? And sweet and sweet, soft and creaminess. By blending the two, you didn't know that perfection could be made 
It's called the Brick of French Toast here at Five and Dime. Never had it before a day in my life, but every time I come back to Five and Dime, I'm definitely gonna make sure I order it. Oh my goodness, what is this? Five and Dime, you are playing with my emotions. Now I gotta go ahead and pick this pancake, yo, pancake buns. Let's start there, pancake buns with this one. You got the cheese, you got that crispy bacon, you got that egg on the inside, mind blown. My mind has been blown, pancake griddle, pancake McGriddle, pancake griddle having it right here. I took a bite, I got crunchy bacon, bacon pulled back, got the fluffiness of the egg, that cheese right there wrapped up, that pancake said hello, yes, it's the batter that matters, you're getting greatness. That combination right there, just give me the pancakes and the brick of the French toast. Give me the pancake McGriddle. Give me the pancake griddle and that brick of the French toast. Creamy, smoothie, sweet, that is everything. That is a combo for your face. Ladies, I gotta keep coming back. They just opened, I am so curious about what else they have on their menu here at Five and Dime, sitting right next to Goldberger's, 1069 Main Street, Newington, Connecticut. You guys, are serving up greatness, you're serving up fire, you're serving up flavor, you're serving up a reason to keep coming back, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we all need more mom and pop shops to stay open. Because if we let them close, if we let these spots close, we're gonna be missing out on some great bites of food.